Well, hey, Cove. Hey there, Cove. Pastor Dan and Ann here, and guess what? It is Wednesday, and so it's... Midweek update. Midweek <laughs> update. Hey, we're in our backyard. Yes. And we are going to talk and read just a little bit today and show you a couple things about trees, actually, because they've sort of been a topic of conversation for us, and we, we seem to be especially noticing trees right now. Why do you think that is? Well, I'm trying to learn more Santa Rosa trees. So it, being in a new environment, a new tree, so I love that. And I love the silhouettes, especially at this time of later sunsets and the orange skies. And uh, mm. we watched the moon rise on Tuesday through the trees. Yeah. Did you see that pink super moon? On, um, so anyway, uh, nice. it was a great, it was in the trees. It was yeah. very beautiful. How about artistically? So, what, do, what do trees do for you artistically? Oh, I, I just like the organic patterns. The growth patterns are so interesting, yeah. how different they are, and yeah. the leaves and the structure of the trees and nice. the colors, the seasons. Should I keep going on? No, I think you're doing, I, I think you're doing great. You could keep okay. going on. But yeah, so I think we, we just want to reflect on that a little bit and maybe help all of us just notice the things that are right in front of us a little bit more. So we're going we're gonna to take you on a little tour, and then we have a couple yeah. of scriptures to read and one update thing. We'll see some more trees at our yard. There you go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Tour. So just here in the backyard, this is a very small backyard right in the middle of Santa Rosa and and there's all sorts of trees around us. Uh, I can't actually tell you what kind these are. They're kind of half bush, half tree, but you can see all the new green growth on the edges of them. And then if we walked over this way a few steps, this of course would be an olive tree. And, uh, and it's gained about two or three feet this, this spring and has uh, blossoms coming in all over the place. And then if I just kept moving around a little bit, uh, we've showed you this before, but I think the last time we showed you this big tree, it was absolutely 100% bare. And uh, you can see that it is growing big time, uh, big green leaves. And then I'm gonna keep walking around over here. here. And I'll point the camera up and uh, this is a great old oak tree right on the edge. And if you look through the oak tree, um, the neighborhood has some other trees over there. There's camellia bushes. There's just, everything's just exploding. So, so much variety, just like at our fingertips. And now let's hear a couple of scriptures. Uh, the first one will be from Psalm 1, and the second from Isaiah 55. Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night, that person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do, they prosper. I'm gonna read from Isaiah 55, which is a verse we sometimes use in a benediction. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Isaiah 55, 12. So that's our encouragement on trees, and I'm just struck by that psalm, be like a tree planted by streams of living water. And the living water was God's word. And then what happens? They end up clapping their hands nice. with joy. Mm -hmm. So uh, encouragement for you to hear from the scripture, to absorb it, and also to look around wherever you are today, even out of your living room window, and uh, what, what trees do you see and, and what do they remind you of? Just one quick announcement, I think. Uh, Sunday, it is supposed to be a drop-dead gorgeous weekend, so we're going to be outside in the south parking lot again. Um, 
weather's good, for COVID reasons, we want to continue to be cautious. We also want to keep working at some live stream issues in the sanctuary. So we will live stream and uh, worship in person in the parking lot at 1030 and you'll get an email about how to do that. Um, also, women, don't forget the women's event coming up in May. And men, the uh, June 11 to 13 retreat weekend. And uh, all those details are flying all over the place, so you'll find them. In the meantime, I think, is that it? I think so. Okay, God bless. Bye-bye, God bless. See you soon.